Hello, my name is Mary Peake and I'm a Principal Curriculum Developer here at Oracle. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to harvest runtime metrics from Enterprise Manager Grid Control into Oracle Enterprise Repository Assets. Here you see Oracle Enterprise Repository, or OER. Before you can harvest runtime metrics from Enterprise Manager Grid Control into OER, the asset needs to exist in OER. In this case, we've already harvested a composite asset into OER called Hello Google. So here we see the endpoint for the Hello Google Beeple process. We see the overview and the taxonomy and the properties for the endpoint. Note that there are no statistics here yet. Now let's look at the SOA composite that's being monitored in Enterprise Manager Grid Control. Here we are on the home page. Let's go to Targets, Middleware, and we'll scroll down and we'll look at the SOA infra on this domain. Let's expand default and we'll look at this Hello Google composite. This is the asset we viewed earlier in OER that we're monitoring. Here we can see metrics for the composite. Average response time and message throughput and also a graph that shows messages per minute and errors. And if we scroll down, we can see detailed metrics on the SOA Beeple component being monitored. If we go to the SOA Composite menu, then Monitoring, All Metrics. We see all the composite metrics being captured by Enterprise Manager. We see how often metrics are collected, when the metrics are uploaded, and the date and time of the last upload. If we click on this Detail Metrics link, we see detailed metrics on such things as throughput, response time, total faults, and so on. So you can see that there are a lot of detailed metrics collected by Enterprise Manager. We've looked at just a few of them, but there are many more. Now we'll run the OER EM integration utility to bring in the metrics data to the OER endpoint asset. First, let's look at what you need to do to set up the EM integration utility. In the solutions directory, under your OER install directory, you need to unzip this EM integration zip file. I've already done this into the EM integration utility directory. Here we see the files required by the EM integration utility. Let's look at this EM integration settings.xml file. I have it open here in a text editor. This is where you configure the connection details for OER, as you see here. Note that the password for OER must be encrypted using the encryption utility that's supplied with the EM integration utility. And you also configure the connection details for Enterprise Manager. There are many other settings you can change here too, but that's all we'll concern ourselves with for now. So let's close this file. Now we'll run the EM integration utility. we'll wait for it to finish and the EM integration is now complete and we can see that one asset was updated with metrics. Now we're back in OER and we've refreshed the window that's showing the Hello Google endpoint. 
And if we scroll down under properties, we can now see the metrics that were harvested into OER under operational information. We see the percentage availability times, response times, requests and faults, and also when these metrics were collected and updated. So that's it for how to harvest runtime metrics from Enterprise Manager Grid Control into Oracle Enterprise Repository Assets.